a bunch of crybabies. Welcome to my channel. This video does not have the typical intro and outro because I hadn't actually planned on making this into a YouTube tutorial. But since I have nothing else to do right now, I figured I would toss a voiceover on it and put it on YouTube. So you guys can look sad too. The very first thing I did was use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to map out where I wanted the tears to be. This also makes a super nice base to put shadows over. Next, I used Home Sweet Home Shadow from Sugar Pill to add a little bit of a light blue color just down the center of the tears. Then I blended that blue a little bit over to the one side as you wanna keep the opposite side quite light. Then I'm using a darker blue shadow. This is Velocity Press Shadow by Sugar Pill to add shadow and make the one side of the tear darker and just making sure it's all nice and blended together. Now I'm just going in with a cool toned brown shade to darken the shadowed side even more, making sure to keep the shadow the same shape as the teardrop. Then going over top of that, again with the blue shadow velocity, just to turn it a little bit more blue instead of brown. I am repeating each step on each tier. I just didn't want this video to be 6,000 years long. Then I'm going back in with that same cool toned brown, which I forgot to mention is Castle on the Hill by Sugar Pill, just to very lightly outline the teardrops. Sometimes when you're blending lots of shadows and doing lots of detail, you can start to lose your whites. So I'm just going back in with Ofra Cosmetics White Rabbit Gel Liner and bringing those back. Now we need to add a shadow that the tear would cast onto your face. I'm using the Matte Black Shadow Bulletproof from Sugar Pill very, very lightly. I used a tiny bit of my Pony Cosmetics Pegasus Liner just to darken those outlines and give it even more depth. Then I went over them with some black shadow just to make sure they were also blended in with the rest of the design. Then I went in with a little tiny liner brush and some more Ofra Cosmetics White Rabbit Gel Liner to add the little bit of shine in the shaded side of the tear. This is my favorite part. It makes everything come alive. I used a little fluffy brush with a tiny bit of the light blue shadow on it just to make sure everything was really soft. I decided last minute that I wanted some really fine white highlights on the tears, so I'm using Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner in Bump just to add a bit of a shine on the light end of the tear and also used it to brighten that tiny little highlight as well. And then your painted tears are complete. Now you can be emo like you were in grade 10. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.